Hello, welcome to Veronica Hack, and let's put this work together. So I used a contrasting color, but you could definitely use a similar or the same one as your base color. But anyway, go under the stitches or on the bottom stitches into the loops that are further away from you and then simply do a slip stitch to connect them. And I'll do stitch per stitch till I get to the end. And always a slip stitch. Make sure you aren't pulling too tightly because it won't look as good when you do it that way. You get really clean edges, which is always important when you do such big work. Contrasting color also changes the whole piece. But let's now do the corner together. So the first three trebles we do with slip stitches just like before. Now another chain and now take a new piece and go into the chain. And through the diagonal one as well. And again, do a slip stitch to connect. And go till you reach the edge. So that's the one row. I'll show you the ones crossing these as well. So here we start on the outside. The red under the rug, go through the two corners, and take the thread through. Go into the following stitches just like you did before and keep doing slip stitches. And here we are at the cross. We work it till the last treble, then we do one chain. Over the stitches and then just simply continue on the other side, just like if you were starting a new piece or a new section.
I'll show you how to finish the rug as a whole. So the threads that you have left over, you can simply leave the pink so that you don't have to weave them in. I'd like the rug to have a nice shape. I ordered a lead band or a lead strip from the internet and I will work it into my pattern as well. So into every last stitch from the last row that you did, so every treble, you will do one single crochet. And also work the lead band into it. This is super easy and fast, but you still need to go through all of the stitches so it might take a while before you're done. Make sure you pull the band a bit so that it stays in there nicely and the way it's supposed to. So anyway, let's do the next piece. So around this chain we do a single and then into this section again a single and after that you continue with one more and then you do the trebles with the single as you always would. And that's how we keep working through the pieces and I'll show you one more thing which is how to do the corner and that's basically all you need to know to be able to finish these steps. So let me just reach the corner really quick. This is what it looks like from the back. Into the chain of the corner we will do, so let's first do the three trebles of the corner as you always would, and the chain gets three single. That way it will look nice and neat. And then you continue with doing the trebles in singles. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the project. If you did your own piece, how fast you did it or how slow you did it. Um, apart from that, feel free to shoot a thumbs up to let me know I did a good job and you can also subscribe to the channel and stay updated with everything new that I post. Thanks for watching, Veronica Hug. I'll see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!